didn't have a heart. But he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared? What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how and stop the monster. The autopsy room was a mess. Like a bomb had gone off. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her under the light, lurched past her. The Taken could not see into bright light. The light hurt them, hurt the darkness in them, made them vulnerable. I flick the switch, it goes click. Show me the clicker, lights are off, but somebody's home. Hemingway brought you here, witch. Get out of my house, Nightingale shouted. A wave of terror crashed through Saga's head. The awful truth. Nightingale had no heart in his chest, but here he was, killing a monster. The world had lurched out of balance. You found yourself trapped on the far side of the mirror. Must be locked from the other side. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the Sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to... create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. No. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future? There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. That's it. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake, calls him a Taken. 
We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. We, we heard gunshots, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, ma'am. But that's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. Well, yeah, right. Well, that's all crazy talk. Monsters aren't real, and what do you mean the, the sheriff disappeared? Like, poof? He's gone like magic? Magic's not real. Magic's not real. Right. Call again. No, Thor. Monsters. I need bolt cutters. Magic's definitely not real. Fine pair. Oh dear, I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. If only I had a tour guide, also, it's bear season. Oh no, a bear. Help. Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh wow, Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right, I'm Ilmo Koskala voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World Magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yanko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why, at Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, Fuck the government! We have bolt cutters. Oh, wow. You think of everything. And we'll take you anywhere! Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. The tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner Coffee Thermal. My client has been held here long enough. Are you gonna let me speak to them or not? Uh, just a moment, ma'am. Someone will be right with you.
many times do we have to do this, Walter? Huh? I'm at my wit's end with you. I want out! Something bad's going down! I can feel it! Let me out! Do you think I like throwing you in jail every other day? No, I don't. Do you have any idea how much paperwork you're causing me? What's well, a lot? Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Yeah, a Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case? Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. Mercetta won't roll over on the issues. I'm gonna take a quick look around. Meet you back at the car. See you in a bit. Did you check out the town, Anderson? Just getting my bearings. Ready to go? Waiting on you. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold Case Casey. Murder Case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha ha. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this, or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. To solve the case. <sighs> I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, they don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. Uh, 
Hey, hello there. How are you folks doing? Those restricted area signs don't do a damn thing. Huh? Hello, Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery. My hometown was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalan piirakka. <laughs> Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's sauna, sauna ja vihta. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. Operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage can. That's all for now. What'd you foot? Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. <laughs> he hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. I, not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. Our 
crime scene's drowning. I never minded rain. Feels like home. No sign of Nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake, in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. Monsters? Overlaps? Rituals? What do you make of all of this? Hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around, learn what this ritual is. After we find Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Could I? Bare feet. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you comb through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case? On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. Hey, Casey, what's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson, just one case without the rent. A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, you do. The tracks lead into the water. Where'd you go from here? I can feel something. A presence. Nightingale isn't far. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is ladle.
What is that? Seems like it's reacting to the light. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covering another page. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. The fuse was in place. She found it among the junk in the forest. Saga stepped inside the witch's hut. Something rushed through her. A presence. Familiar. She couldn't quite place it. Something long forgotten. She tried to hold on to it, but it was already gone. Inside, a bright light. Saga felt safe, like nothing could hurt her here. There were objects that stood out to Saga as if the light had manifested them, pulled them from the darkness. A shift in reality, heavy with hidden meanings. A coffee thermos, a shoebox, a mop and a bucket, a poster on the wall, and in the cabinet, another manuscript page. Is Witch's Ladle the doorway into the overlap? If so, that's where I'll find Nightingale. Light is the key. To stay safe. But for something more to be revealed as well. <laughs> Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? I need to find the witch's hut. This is the witch's hut. Anderson, thought I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay, I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. box is missing a fuse. I need to find one to turn on the lights.
This fuse is busted. A lunchbox again. Who's leaving these out here? This one looks good. People should really stop littering, though. Another page. Making progress. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. Witch's ladle. Towering over Saga. Watching her and the witch, the image of the witch in the sign, Nightingale's heart, a cold, dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town, but she trusted the pages, was forced to. Saga addressed the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words, the smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory, the words she had read on the page. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. This was the key. The tree was the threshold. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. Hmm. To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? The cultist leaned close. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? While they played cards in the general store, the witch had stolen his heart. 
Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. I need to check the general store for the heart. Casey, I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Uh, roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it. Saga edged toward the broken door, her gun ready, flashlight aimed ahead. Nightingale said it would be here. The Cauldron Lake General Store was overgrown, left to rot. Saga thought about the cult of the tree. They had been here, waiting, planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the General Store, like it was just another late-night poker game. Saga stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist, a hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night, wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask, an ax in his raised hand.
text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. Sounds literary, but what does it mean? I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. And now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. Found the heart in the fridge. Just like the page said I would. This mug always cheers me up. If only the rest of the Bureau knew what a softy Casey is. My first ever prank on Casey. A true classic. all of them. Which show me the terror.
think I'm in the overlap. Are you still on your way? Casey! Casey, do you read me? Fuck. Okay, Saga. Going in solo. Logan? Mom, help! Logan! Where are you? What the fuck was that? Logan's back in Virginia. You're imagining things. What was that? Wait. Did I get turned around? No, this is right. This place is looping. Like a nightmare. The writer went into the lake, banished the dark presence. Taken still lurked in the woods. The dark place receded. The current pulled back those with darkness inside, into the lake. Nightingale was there, one of them. The dark presence, Jagger had taken him. The witch had stolen his heart. They sank beneath the waves. The dark place, wandering in the shadows, muttering to themselves. It's dark, I'm lost. Where am I? Who am I? I can't remember. It's cold. Premium cabins for rent in Bright Falls. Who said that? Can you hear me? I need help. Please, stop this. What did I do? You must dig it out. Their shape shifted. Echoes of the writer's dreams. Fading in, fading out. The next story and the story after that. The writer was writing again. He's here, Nightingale. Nightingale's badge.
What is this? Who are you? You me. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes. I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I to escape. In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. Are you okay? Oh, no! It's my fault! They got out with my face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... he's changed the story. The, the dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13? Anders, where did you go? All of a sudden the radio stopped working and then that flooding just disappeared. Crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Alex Casey? How? Am I still... Is this the dark place? No, it can't be. I got out. Yeah, the P.I. from your books has the same name as me. Great. Moving on. It's a bit of a hike to the car, Wake. Just get your bearings, then we'll head out. I just... I, I need another minute. Cauldron Lake. I thought I'd never see this place again. Take your time. But you should know these woods aren't the safest. Yeah. Uh, it's getting dark. You have a flashlight? It's not safe without a light. I have a light. And a gun. You can relax, Wake. And Pages. If you see pages of writing anywhere, you must take them and keep them safe. Our lives could depend on it. They have vital information. We know about the pages, Wake. We'll keep an eye out for them. Okay. Okay, just give me a moment. It's okay. Take your time. Should look around. With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap to Nightingale.
A locked box. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? Notes and ammo. Looks like they're tools of the trade. The cult doesn't see their victims as people. Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? He'd been on the trail of the rider forever. The writer who despised. Hemingway, Bukowski, Wake. I'll get you. I'll find you. I'll make you pay. You're in over your head. He descended into the tunnels, from the dark city, into the ocean of darkness. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. Something, a presence, rumbled. Not a train. Shadows shifted on the platform. The writer's cult waited for him there. The cult of the word. A cultist lean close. I carry his words close to my chest now. You're not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. He'd be caught. Murdered. They got him. They didn't get him. He was reborn out of hate. He was there. But he was risen. Sent to find the light switch up from the lake that was not the lake. Keep trying. Hmm. Even the animals are turning into monsters. Back at Witch's Ladle, Saga pointed the flashlight at the strange, dark substance. The same substance Nightingale had left at the morgue. There was something hidden under it. She strained to see, the opposite of sunspots in her eyes, blacker than black. Suddenly a change. The light reacted to the substance, a feedback loop surging up her arm. Saga squeezed the flashlight, willing it to penetrate the dark matter. Burn it away.
The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. There's something written here. A poem? Or a riddle? A little clothespin doll. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. Reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. Something feels different. I should look around. A charm. Cute. It'll go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. Huh. That was strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. An overlap of the dark place needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality in our world eroded by repeated dark lore tied to a location and a counterpoint. A work of art, a horror narrative crafted in the depths of the dark place, connecting to the story on the other side to reach out through the weakened veil. A story of a lawman whose heart was cut out of his chest. Two corrupt men killed by their own twisted ambition. A haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub. Twisted reflections on the other side of the mirror. Arcs stabbing through realities, amplifying the influence of the dark place. These elements working in conjunction made a trickle that became a torrent, a wormhole, a vortex, and the art, the map, became the nightmare territory where the dark place encroached on our reality, a blanket over it, where they all overlapped causing reality to twist and loop like a bad dream, remolding anything and anyone within its dark horror design.
There's another lunchbox. Another one of those rhymes. Creepy dolls, mysterious rhymes, no weirder than anything else going on, I guess. Right. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't look right.
The FBC is definitely playing with things they don't fully understand. And that always goes well. I feel bad for these guys. A weird feeling something's changed. Jesus, what is this? Another charm for my bracelet. We've reached the car, Anderson. How's it going down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. Another locked box.
There's a rhyme over here. Children in Bright Falls all grew up hearing stories about the cult of the tree. Feral maniacs living in the woods. Satanists chanting, we watch in the night as they perform blood sacrifices in the forest. Or things not quite human lurking in the dark. There were many versions of the story, but they all shared one important element. Danger in the dark, in the woods. Somewhere among all the urban legends lay a secret truth the real identity of the cultists prowling in the woods. Real faces hid behind the masks, real hands held the knives, real people fulfilling a grim purpose. The forest was not safe. People were right to keep their children away from the trees. charm. Good thing Logan made me this bracelet. Another one of those lunch boxes.
Oh. Warning. Activity detected. A-W-E. Event in progress. Cauldron Lake. What's an A-W-E? Casey, what exactly does the FBC do? <sighs> After New York, when I started looking for our friend here, their name came up. I pushed them for any files they had on him, but got stonewalled. They have a reputation of showing up for weird shit. They have a presence here, and now we find our writer. How about that? Ready to go? Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom. Before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's a... Uh, just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. They'd be in danger. It'll come for me. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. 13 years. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. 
But your name can still be made out underneath. <sighs> Scratched out. <sighs> yeah. Scratch. Did you I, write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's... It's... It's a crazy jumble, like a... Like a nightmare. I, it doesn't... It doesn't make sense. I remember. 